we have a much greater responsibility um, to be the face of our institution. Um, we uh, take a little bit more of the burden of uh, being um, the face of uh, the university that we're teaching within because the people we're teaching may not necessarily have a lot of contact with other students and other staff members. Uh, they may not come onto the campus uh, uh, very frequently, if at all. So, so we ha certainly have a much greater responsibility to really be the, uh, the face of the institution, the face of the program, the face of the course that we're teaching and act accordingly to make sure that we give students the, the kind of support that they really need in order to become effective learners. It's really important for the instructor to first of all have the course well designed from the get-go so students come into the course and it's ready to go and second of all to be really available and accessible to the students during the course. The effect of online teacher very succinctly is to set the climate and lead the academic discourse. Uh, in the community of inquiry framework, this corresponds to social presence and cognitive presence. So one challenge I experienced with online teaching um, had to do with technology and in fact I was trying to have students do oral exams and using a pretty new web 2.0 technology um, for them to do this so they would have to have a microphone and record themselves speaking into the microphone and then submit this you know to me using the learning management system so a lot of students had trouble getting the audio working getting it figured out and so on and it, it caused some problems in, in being able to uh, to assess them on this particular skill. So one of the ways I solved that was actually taking a step back in technology and, and just using voicemail <laughs> because all the students had phones. So instead of using this sort of newfangled web 2.0 you know, fancy technology that was kind of fairly easy to do but a little bit difficult, I took a step back and, and allowed those who could do it easily to do it that way or for the others to use voicemail to, uh, to do it. I guess what's really important is to think about your target audience, your students, and where they are with technology um, and what types of things they're going to be able to easily do or less easily do, what, what support they're going to need. And support is extremely important. I teach in the humanities and uh, I know um, from my own experience and also from talking with colleagues that there can sometimes be a little bit of concern around some of the restrictions that we might face given the type of teaching uh, that we do. Um, the humanities is uh, of course from its inception uh, many centuries ago as a discipline. It's all about debate, it's all about argument, it's all about discourse. Um, and so there's naturally a bit of concern that when we're teaching online um, and we're no longer able to meet students face to face across a table that we're going to lose some of those uh, some of those things that are absolutely essential um, to what we do within the humanities. Um, I think some of those fears um, are a little bit misplaced um, because of course um, often the online technologies that are available to us now can actually um, enhance um, what we're doing as traditional classroom based teachers we can um, use some of those technologies to ensure that students when they actually come to the classroom are much better prepared to actually engage in those exciting dialogues and, and debates that we want to have within the classroom. Um, equally when we're um, using those technologies um, for fully online learning we've got a whole series of technologies that we can use um, both to have live synchronous um, debates and conversations with our students. We can use virtual classrooms for that. Um, but at the same time, we can also um, extend those debates over a much longer period of time. We can use um, some technologies uh, like discussion boards. Um, we can use social media to actually engage in debates uh, asynchronously so that we can actually make sure that those debates don't just end um, when we leave the classroom and we give every single student, no matter where they're, where they're based um, globally, we can give every single student an opportunity to get involved in some of those exciting debates and discussions that we love to have within the humanities.